Hi, Ken Boyer from Garage Gurus Heavy Duty. And today I want to talk about how to identify a long stroke brake chamber versus a standard stroke brake chamber. And one of the first things I do want to say is if you'll notice, I've got both of these brake chambers caged, and that's a safe way to handle a brake chamber. So let's talk about how to identify a standard brake chamber. As you can see, the air inlet port is round on a standard brake chamber. But there's three ways to identify a long stroke brake chamber. One of the first noticeable ways is it's got a square boss for the air inlet. The second way to identify is a trapezoidal tag that's clamped uh, here on the clamp, and it could also be on the ports also. Um, the color doesn't matter, but it does say long stroke here on the tag. The third way to identify a long stroke is it's printed out and stamped into the housing here for long stroke. So those are the three ways to identify a long stroke brake chamber. So I actually have a front or a steer axle brake chamber here. As you can see, it's got a trapezoidal tag, but you can also, if you'll notice here, it also has 20L stamped into it. So it's got two of the identifiers to say and to show that this is a long stroke brake chamber. Now you never want to mix a long stroke and a standard stroke on the same axle. If that were to occur, you could get some brake issues where you would have a brake pull, you would have a mechanical balance issue, you would have a torque balance issue. So you never want to mix the two. So if you have that problem, you need to look the vehicle over real good and make sure and, and compare all the brake chambers and make sure that they're all the same configuration. So that's how you identify a long stroke versus a standard stroke. Thanks for watching and for more heavy duty tech tips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.